Okay, so I just baked this motherboard um, to reflow the solder to see if I can fix this uh, GPU issue without having to buy a new motherboard. I uh, stripped the motherboard of all the stickers and everything, uh, then you cover it with aluminum foil, bake it at 385, and then let it cool slowly while it's still in the oven, uh, and that kind of gives you a chance of fixing it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this laptop so you can see how it's done. First thing you want to do is replace your processor. Note that there's a small triangle. Uh, that's where, uh, if you can see it, there's uh, I think one or two pins fewer in that area. Just line that up right here where you'll see that there are also one or two fewer holes. Go ahead and put it in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some thermal paste on it. I've got some Noctua stuff, but um, there's a ton of brands. Just Google for different reviews on what you want to use. Make sure you remember to reconnect the fan. The person who had this laptop before me did not connect the fan and that's what broke the motherboard because it just ran and ran and it's not like the ThinkPads where um, they have an auto off sensor. It'll just keep running. So go ahead and get the shell of your laptop and we can go ahead and start putting this back in. Now when you put this in, remember that this needs to be lifted up to get the heat sink underneath it. wiggle it in like that. Eventually it'll fall into place. And go ahead, put this wireless card back in.
Okay, so now you've got the majority of the board uh, in place. Make sure you check all your connections. All right, and the last screw that you're going to put in before we start putting the top cover on is right here. It's a little bit bigger screw, so please note that. Then go ahead and get your top cover. And we're going to start by connecting the three connections. One right here. Just kind of wiggle it into the connector. This one. That. And then this one, remember you gotta flip that up. And then push it in. Okay, and then go ahead by starting around the edges, make sure, making sure that it's fully seated like that. Take the keyboard, make sure that these are out. Not sure if you'll be able to see putting this in. Push it in as far as it'll go. down the levers like that. Stick it in and then push down and that side will click because there's a little lever there. Let me go ahead and take this piece Get it back in there like that. Flip it over and we'll start putting all these screws back in.
That other stick of ram was bad. That's it. Toshiba L uh, 